Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to today's video. We've got another squad builder for you. Uh, now this week's team of the week on paper doesn't look that amazing, right? But there are a couple of hidden players in there which I think look like gems and I really wanted to try them out. And as you can see above my head, it says Tiff Slimani. Third in form Slimani. Now, he's someone you may or may not have heard of. He was someone which... Uh, Featured in my Road to Glory, my old Road to Glory, before Bite the Bullet happened. Uh, and I really enjoyed his second in form. So when this third in form came out, I was definitely on it. I really wanted to try him. Um, in goal, we've got Courtois. Our defense is pretty good, I'm not going to lie. The weak link is probably Torresidis. I needed him for chemistry reasons and um, I don't know. He, he did an alright job, but I would say that, that was all he did. Jordi Alba, on the other hand, very, very good left back. Gets up and down that pitch so very well. He does a great job. He's so rapid. It's unbelievable. What has he got? 92 pace. Yeah, he really does have that as well. Um, we've got Gary Cahill going in at centre back right there. 83 rated overall with 73 pace. Very solid defending and physical stats as well. I really like him. And then Madalas is someone that is just awesome this year. He's got 81 pace, 85 defending, 82 physical. And he's six foot one, decent work rates. He's a really good centre back, and that pretty much sums up our defence today. Moving on to the midfield, we've got uh, a few different leagues actually. I think we've got we've got Samaris, who is or Samaris, however you want to say it. He's another Greek again, linked up with the chemistry whole thing that we've done here. Um, we've got Ramirez in the middle there. He's someone which I absolutely love as like a box to box hard working midfielder. If anyone. I don't know if there's anyone that does the, the job as good as him on this game, especially for such a low-rated cheap card. It's crazy. Next up, we go out to the right-hand side where we have got Carrillo. Carrillo is a five-star skiller, and uh, he's a new five-star skiller for FIFA 16, I believe. He's got 91 pace, 82 dribbling. He does a pretty good job. Very, very tricky winger. Uh, we've then got Neymar out on the other side. He's someone which is very likely to probably get a Team of the Year card over the next few days. So in all honesty, I probably shouldn't have him in my club, but I can't sell him because I'm using him for bite the bullet. So uh, I'm just going to have to take the coin loss on that one. Now, uh, we move on to our strike force. We've got Jonas at uh, centre forward. You, of course, could use any of his inform variants if you wanted to. I think he's got two to choose from. Um, but I think his regular card looks pretty good. And then we've got this Slimani. Islam Slimani is 82 rated now. He's got 75 pace. He's got 87 shooting. And that's right. He's got 90 physical as well. The downside is his two-star skill moves. Um, but the upside is that in a formation like this, you kind of, everything gravitates towards that one striker up front. And uh, he's going to, of course, be my main goal scorer. This team at the moment, around 200 to 225k, depending on how much Slimani has dropped in price and as well how much the market crashes due to team of the year coming up. If anything, this is just going to become a cheaper and cheaper team over time. Now, um, that's a beautiful goal to start things off with with Jonas. Honestly, probably one of the nicest volleys I've hit this year on FIFA. Just look at him. Absolutely bang it into the top corner. Absolutely loved that one when it went in. Uh, I probably celebrated a little bit too hard, if anything. Um, but these were the only two goals that Jonas scored. The rest of the goals from the entire team come from Slimani. And I'm telling you, this 4-4-1-1, it gravitates you towards that main target man up front. Um, and I have to admit, he did a very, very good job uh, at being the one to just stick the ball in the back of the net, put it away, um, and then move on and go for another goal or whatever. As you can see in that particular clip, we were losing 1-0. I'm pretty sure... Uh, we might have lost that game in the end, but he, he tended to score more than one goal per game, which was great. I really like that about him. Now, Slimani is one of the players that I will be doing a uh, player review for this week on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team over on the FootWiz YouTube channel. So, of course, click that card in the top right corner. It will take you to either the uh, the actual player review for Slimani if it's out, or it will take you to FootWiz's channel where you can subscribe, and it will be out within literally hours. So, uh, it is coming out today. That is the review I've got for you guys today. Uh, also, this week, I think I'm going to be working on um, Inform or Second Inform Martial a player review and also... So, uh, Informed Defoe, someone who looks incredible with the shooting stats that he's got. So, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, so, again, make sure you go and subscribe to FootWiz. I do four videos a week over there, and I'm sure I've told you about four million times by now. But I'm going to keep reminding you. Um, but you can see the sort of goals that are going in here. They're not bad. They are actually very, very good. He's got a great finesse shot. I think the level that you come up from, like, 
Going from a regular card to a first in form, there's not really that much difference. But if you go from a regular card to three in forms later, the stats just become awesome. He's got amazing finishing, great positioning, great power on his shots. He's sort of got it all, apart from, of course, the skill moves, which is a little bit of a letdown, but actually I think it helps you focus. I think it helps you focus on getting the job done rather than pissing about with it, which is a great thing. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.